white southern people in like period dress all look the same to me so I wasn't sure I'm like wait a second is this who is this Andrew Andrew outside of the court theater about to see Bright Star a new musical by Steve Martin and Edie Brickell yeah now Steve Martin you might know from the Saturday Night Live and Edie Brickell you might know from her one hit wonder what was that one hit? What I was, was trying it to called? think. I can't remember it. I'm not aware of too, too many things. things. I don't know. I know what I know. If I, you know what I, I mean. mean. Steve Martin plays the banjo. There should be some banjo music in the show. I, wait, he's in the show? No. No, he just wrote the show. He wrote the show. From what I know is that supposedly there's something about a woman and there's a war. The, I, the plot, as far as I know it, I swear to God, I think this is the synopsis I read in The New Yorker. A traveling salesman meets a woman on a train? I will be honest with you, I have not very high hopes for this. Wait, really? You don't think it's gonna be good? I think it's gonna be amazing. Okay, we'll see you at intermission of Bright Star at the Court Theater. So it's intermission, and the story so far is... Basically like every southern drama, tragic comedy. Small town boy knocks up small town girl. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The mayor doesn't like that. The story was going nowhere fast. Like a hot July day by the side of a lazy river. Drinking lemonade Drinking on the Scots lemonade. Bird. Until Carmen Cusack enters as the, as her older self. The younger self. No, the older self. So yeah, I'm still confused. I'm just gonna skip that point because clearly we can't make it. Story was going nowhere until Jeff Blumenkrantz my favorite. He's like the living embodiment of show doctorship because all he does is say one funny thing a scene and you're like, this show's great. I mean, I like the music. Really? I don't care for the book though and I don't care how the music is integrated into the book. I'm not even gonna talk about the fact that you just said integrated. They start singing and you know the next word is going to be ringing. Book, hilarious. Songs, sluggish. We'll come back, we'll figure out which what part sucks the most about the show, besides, of course, the fact that Steve Martin isn't in it. Wait, he still might. He still might be. You know what, I gave them the benefit of the doubt after the first act. I thought maybe there could be a way that this train could turn around and go in a different direction. Trains, dire no, trains cannot turn around, Andrew. For me, this show did the impossible, which was that I had not bought a ticket, and in the second act, I was like, hey, we're chugging right along. This little engine can do something. Um, I still like the music, it's great. The movement had hints of Stephen Hoggett on a bad day, and the set designer took the easy way out because we knew that it was outside because this big landscape would come down whenever it was outside and go back up when it was interior. Whoever is moving that the cabin in the middle of the in the middle of the stage. Congratulations, you've got the hardest job on stage. It's not that the show is bad. It's that all of its various elements are incohesive, incoherent. Like I said, I was not invested early on and somehow I came around and I got real teary eyed. Do not ride this train for me, it's a red light. Red light and yellow light for Bright Star. Oh, also I do feel like kind of a jerk because um, Steve Martin and Edie Brickell collaborated on two of them.